the US and the European Union agreed to end their 17-year dispute over aircraft subsidies to Airbus and Boeing that saw them impose tariffs on $11.5 billion of each other's exports. The two sides spent Monday night discussing the deal in order to get it over the line before an EU-US summit in Brussels with President Joe Biden. In today's video, we will discuss the background of the deal, why it is so significant and its effects for the future. In terms of the background, the dispute has dragged on since 2004 when the United States withdrew from a 1992 aircraft subsidy pact and took the EU to the World Trade Organization. Here, the US claimed that Airbus had managed to equal Boeing's shares of the aircraft market thanks in part to subsidized government loans. The EU then replied by bringing an action against the US on what it termed unfair support and subsidized tax incentives for Boeing. Since then, the dispute has escalated and in 2019, the World Trade Organization authorized the US to bring tariffs against $7.5 billion of EU exports annually over government support for Airbus. Meanwhile, the EU won permission to hit back with tariffs on $4 billion of US goods. Importantly, the tariffs were suspended by both sides in March as the negotiators worked toward an agreement. But why is this deal so significant and also why did the two sides choose to agree to it? This is a hugely significant deal because it turns the page on the conflicts in trade between the two sides. This sets the stage for a new era of cooperation between the two sides at a time when China is looking to displace Boeing and Airbus domination in the market. In order to achieve this outcome, the two sides relied on the use of two treaties. One treaty was between the United States and the European Union, whilst the other one was between the US and the UK, following Britain's exit from the EU. As mentioned, the agreement was driven in part by the growing awareness in both the EU and the US of the growing position of China in the aerospace market. Indeed, China's state-sponsored Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, or COMAC, is on track to become a legitimate rival in global plane making by the end of the decade. As highlighted by US Trade Representative Catherine Tai, the two sides need to look at the bigger question of China's ambitions to become a global player in the commercial aircraft industry. So what does this deal mean for the future? A deal like this will lift the uncertainty that is hanging over the airline sector while also removing the threat that EU and US goods could be hit again by tariffs because of this dispute. This agreement would also play in favour of Biden, who vowed to reset relations with Europe after four troubling years under former President Donald Trump. And as highlighted, this would be a crucial step in fighting off the growing presence of China in the aerospace market and maintain Airbus and Boeing's leadership. It's also important to note that the EU and the US will also commit at the summit to remove tariffs related to a steel and aluminium dispute based on US tariffs placed in 2018. Another point to keep in mind between the two sides is that of the digital taxes, which is now tied up in broader international talks. This agreement could be a crucial step for both sides in protecting Airbus and Boeing's positions in the market and reset their trade relations. Thank you as always for watching our videos. Please do consider leaving us a like, a comment to share your thoughts and subscribe to our channel for more. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you next time.